What's up everybody? Welcome back to the FNG Academy. Buck here from Green Beret. Here to help you guys get selected. Alright guys, in this video we're going to talk about 18 Charlie. You guys have asked for it like crazy. Obviously it's a very popular MOS because who doesn't like blowing shit up? It's the best. It was one of my favorite things to do in group was to do door charges and breaches. It's super fun, but in this video, stay tuned because we're gonna talk about the perceived job versus the reality. Not to shit in your guys' cereal first thing in the morning or the afternoon or whenever this drops, I don't even have a watch on, but to get you to understand what it's actually like so that way you pick the right job for you and when you show up, you're actually happy with the job, you enjoy it more, you give more to group, and you become a better Green Brave because you know you picked the right job. So before we do, let's see if we can get 2,000 likes on this video. And we're super excited to announce that we are partnering with Bomar Nutrition. So we understand that we need to be a one-stop shop to help people get selected. And nothing's more important than having the right supplements to help you achieve your physical goals. So we tried multiple companies, tested their products, and we found that Bomar had the best variety of stuff, the amazing flavors. If you haven't seen or heard of the Bomars, both Josh and Sarah are super avid athletes. Josh is a monster. Check them out. We'll have an affiliate link listed down below. Go check out some of the products. And the best part is they come in the single packets, so you can throw them in your rucks when you guys are training, pull it out when you need it, and have your pre-workout, have your post-workout. So we're super excited and hope you guys like the products. All right, so let's talk about 18 Charlie. Is it a cool guy MOS? Yes, it's one of the ones that most people are gonna pick between 18 Bravo and 18 Charlie, in my opinion, uh, that don't wanna go the soccer route. Obviously, 18 Delta is probably the best as far as lifestyle um, on the team and responsibility versus the types of things they're doing. 18 Delta would be amazing. Let's not get it twisted. But a lot of us don't wanna do soccer. I don't like getting stuck with needles every five seconds. I tried to do an ankle stick on the teams one time um, and ended up just pin cushioning my ankle like a hundred times until I gave up. I hate needles. So it typically from there it comes down to 18 Bravo or 18 Charlie. 18 Bravo is you're just like, well, I like guns. And then 18 Charlie, you're like, well, I like to blow shit up. But that's not the reality of what it's like on the team. So let's get you guys filled in on what it's actually like to be an 18 Charlie so you make the right decision and make sure you pick the one that's meant for you. Being an 18 Charlie, I reached out to one of my best friends on the planet, Kurt and asked him what it was like. He's an 18 Charlie. You guys will be hearing more from him later on as we get uh, the podcast back up and running. Kurt told me, perception is obviously you're gonna be blowing stuff up and building stuff all the time. This is like why he joined it. But the reality is it's a ton of inventories and maintaining equipment and round and round and round with the captain and inventories and, and tracking and making sure that the team has everything it needs. He told me and what I agree with 100% because something that I saw in our Charlie um, who's about to graduate law school now, was that you need to be a wheeler and dealer. The Charlie's gonna be responsible for so much more than just demo. They're gonna be responsible for acquiring the things that the team needs, whether that's uh, equipment for your rifles or equipment for the deployment, it doesn't matter. If you need something for the team that's some kind of end item or some kind of equipment, you're gonna go straight to your Charlie and be, hey man, this is what we need, figure it out. We don't care how you get it, but we need you to get it. So you need to be a wheeler and dealer. You need to have the gift of gab and to be able to talk to people and convince them to give you the stuff that you need, whether it's going to regular army, um, connections that you've made outside of group, it doesn't matter. That's on you. A successful Charlie is gonna build a network of people that he could pull supplies from and they do favors for each other and help each other out. So that way when we need something as a team, He's got some strings he could pull. He's got some favors he can call in and he can make it happen. That's what's gonna make us more successful as a team um, and potentially give us the leg up over other teams. Cause like you guys know, we're always in competition for the best missions. But that doesn't mean that being Charlie is all bad. He said it was still the best job he'd ever had. And I'm gonna be honest with you, doing demo, even though it's not nearly as much as you'd like to, is one of the funnest things ever. You can go to advanced breacher school. You're gonna learn so many charges like arts and crafts for adults. The only thing you're limited by is your imagination. You need to understand that the type of charge you build, it may work for that cheap Home Depot hollow door that everybody uses because they're affordable and you can get a stack of them over at Home Depot before your range. 
but now you throw in a metal door. Now you throw in reinforced doors. Now you're gonna have to really get creative at the types of charges that you use, and that's why being a breacher is such a cool thing to do. You're literally only limited by your imagination and what you can make up with the equipment that you have, the charges they have, whether you're using a dip can charge, a water charge, a foldable charge. There's so many different things out there, so breaching is awesome. So don't get twisted. But that doesn't mean that everyone on the team is not gonna be a breacher. When I first got to the team, the most senior guy on the team was a Delta and obviously knew more about charges than anybody because he'd been on a team for like seven years, which is completely unheard of. How he did that, I have no idea, but it happens every once in a while. So yes, demo is awesome. And yes, part of the school is you're going to be learning how to build stuff. The idea of teaching you how to build buildings and structures is that let's say we need to go into work with a partner force and we're trying to build up their army. Well, we need to build them an aid station. So we do need to know how to build structure. We need to build defenses, things like that. So you are going to be focusing uh, more on the building side of it. And so when we go down range and someone says, hey, we need to put up a defense structure here or um, the Afghans, they need some kind of structure, the Charlie's going to be the one that we go to. So you're going to be a person of many hats doing many different jobs, but it's still an awesome job. It's still a cool job. Just understand that, yes, you get to blow stuff up, but blowing stuff up is not limited to the Charlie, and you're gonna have a lot of other responsibilities on top of that. But enjoy it, it's gonna be an awesome career, it'll be a sweet, sweet job, you'll love it. Uh, just know, the inventories, it sounds petty, it sucks. You are constantly, constantly re-inventorying um, hundreds if not thousands of items to make sure that nothing gets lost, because if an end item gets lost, a piece of serialized equipment, the whole world comes to an end. It's like the worst thing that could happen in group. So you're constantly keeping track, organizing, chasing down uh, leads, creating a network to help you get the things that you need. All right, guys, I hope you liked that video, little breakdown of the Charlie life so you have a better understanding of what you're going to pick. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell thing, let you know when the videos drop, and make sure you click the link down below and go get you some Bomar pre-workout. I like the hazelnut. Tastes like coffee. It's delicious. All right, guys. See you next time. And I can't see it clearly, but it's obvious. I know that you